Here's my topic sentence. Therefore, with Knowles' theory of andragogy, the tenets of humanistic learning theory are coupled together. Topic sentence. Merriam E.T. All. Well, wait a minute. Merriam E.T. All. Merriam E.T. All, 2007. Wait, well, where'd she start? Let's find her. Oh, here she is. This is the full citation of three. One, two, three. And, and we have them in parentheses and the year. Now I want to use her again. I want to use her again. I don't need to write all that. That's a lot. That's almost a full sentence. It starts to be full sentences. So we can reduce it by this. Miriam, Miriam, 2007, 2007. So that's what they're saying. You can reduce it. So your paragraphs don't become big with all of the authors, right? So the first time you use it, three or more. If it's two, always keep the two. If it's three or more authors, anytime you use them again, reduce it. Reduce it. And it's not an option. You have to reduce it. Your professor will say, hey, this is the wrong APA format. You're doing it wrong. Reduce it. If it's three or more. Any question? Remember this, ET all. ET all, and I think it's in your book, don't worry, in your page. All right, let's get back to here. So you see, every time I used her again, here I used it, I did a direct quote. I took her, I did a direct quote. From here, I started her quote here. That, and Miriam said this, that stresses the self-directedness of adults and the value of experience in learning comma, and what page did I get it on? And I used this shortened version, page, period, and number, and then period again. And it's all in. So these are, it's a little confusing, but you guys gotta start looking at this stuff. This is a good picture to take, because it shows you all the different versions. It shows you the direct quote, it shows you paraphrases, it shows you the page numbers, it gives you a lot of good little information. Can I can I scroll it up a little for you? There. Keep that one so we can look at it more. Because when am I using this? You want to read on your own. When is the teacher using these in-text citations? When and why? He says a sentence, he backs it up. He says a sentence, he backs it up. So we talked about three or six or more authors. You, very rare do we find more, but it could happen, more than six authors, okay? So that's what we're talking about, ET, all, period, comma, then you have the uh, year, the published date. So common web, web page citations. What if there's no author? Sometimes there's a website, it's just the name, .gov, or no author. Right? Or no date. No date. So write some of the page title. Maybe there's just a page title. Let's say the page title was this. Right? Sutter Stock. That was the name. We use the page title. And if there's no date, in D. In D. Right? But, okay, author, but still no date. So if we do have the author, but no date, we can't find the published date. Write the author, but still no date. So Brooks, no date, ND. And you need these periods. You need these periods, okay? No date. So you want to take a picture of that because there's all these different variations to remember. You might want a certain website. It's a credible website. It's a good website, but can't find the date. Well, if I can't find the name, we'll just put the title of the, the page. wanted to start doing your okay um, final notes about citation these are the basics these are the basics so avoiding avoid using direct quotes as much as you can try and avoid that but if you use them include the page number or paragraph where you found it so here's the page number I let's say I use some of this guy's information Coleman 2004 there was the page number there right like we talked about and then we put a period at the end of the sentence yeah uh, he also said something, the page number or the paragraph. 
If it's a paragraph, let's say you, you're going to have to count one, two, three, four. Oh, it's the fourth paragraph. So then I would go like this. Um, So we would say para, shorten, don't say paragraph, para, graph four, period. So you could do it like that if it's a paragraph. Don't put page, put para, P-A-R-A, P-A-R-A, if it's a paragraph. Maybe there's no page number, it's just paragraphs. Usually you'll find a page number, usually you'll find a page number, right? Um, so if the author is mentioned within, within the sentence, the citation doesn't need an author. In this case, the citation can also happen in the middle of a sentence. So I showed you many times, I put the citation in the middle of my sentence. I paraphrase, that was what they said, and I continue what I'm saying, right? So according to Coleman, 2000, look at no comma, no comma, because it's out of the parentheses. According to Coleman, 2004 comma, this tutorial is over, right? Or example, according to Coleman, comma, this tutorial is over, and then we put the year, the published date here at the end, and then period of the sentence. So different ways you can change up your citations, it's up to you. But I would stick with the basics. So, should we play the game? Should we play the game? Okay, this team, you guys are all one team, you're one team, and you're one team. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll play two sides. When it's their side, you can help them on that side, and when it's their turn, you can help them on that side. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can test our knowledge, how much we may remember. I hope this will work. Okay, what are you guys gonna start out with? We'll start with a, okay, do this one. One, two, three. Hi, Tan. Do the one, two, three. Chin Who goes first? Who won? They won? Okay, you guys are up. How much are you gonna go? 4,000, one, don't go up here. Don't be crazy. How much? How much you gonna bet? How much you wanna play for? 1,000? Uh, 1,000, start out with 1,000. Okay, 18. 18, B team, they start with 1,000. Okay. Which one is it? You got to answer the question here. A citation is used to show what was found throughout what? Research, observation, making things up, asking a friend. When do we use it? A citation. Research. Research? Yeah. A? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Good job. How much are you going to play for? Yeah, you got plus a thousand. Now what? How much are you going to bet? Two thousand? Three thousand? How much? Eight thousand? Big spender. Big spender. We're going to see here. Oh, we got the same one? Let's, let's get out of that one. We'll just do it. Hey, you know? hey, hey. Yeah, you didn't win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, why is it not going? Sorry. You know why? Oh, I know why. Okay. Next one. Here, try this one. I, I think you got that question wrong. I should go back for it. Just try this one. A citation contains the year of a publication and what? C. C? Yeah. C. Author's last name. Good job. Not the first name. It contains the last name. The sentence period goes blank. The citation. It was before the citation, after the citation? Okay. 
With two authors, you should cite what? Which one? A. A. B. A. Does the citation include the author's initial? Yes, no. A letter. Yes. The citation. I, an issue if I say D. David A. Alaman. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 The citation. No, because only the reference page, only the reference page will have that. But the 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 citation, mm -hmm. citation in the paragraph does not. It's just the last name. You only need the last name. What's wrong with this citation? What's wrong with that citation? Well, wait a minute. Missing an initial, no page number, period after, or nothing? Page number. B. B? 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 No. Come on! Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. It's perfect. A direct quote, direct quote, should include... Direct quote, what should it include out of this? D. B? D. 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 B? D. All you guys got to agree, what do you think? A direct quote, you cut and paste. So it needs the page number. Remember, you gotta always put the page number because you're cutting and pasting exact words. Where did you find that? So I can go back and look exactly what, what they said to make sure it's right. So always the page number. What citation matches this reference? Which one should we use? Which matches? B? C? Hey, what do you guys think? Remember the rules. We're doing a citation now. A citation. This is the reference, so it gives us everything. But now we want to take this and use it in the paper. What should we do in the paper? C. 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 No. No date. No date. Right. And we don't need the initial. We don't need the initial. So D. Good job. All right. <laughs> we'll keep working with APA citation. It's one of the hardest things for all of us Americans. Everybody. It's very hard. So what we want to do in the last minutes here. You guys should be working on your thesis statement. You guys should be working on your um, outline. We want to finish our outline here. Um, also, can I look at your sources? Make sure your sources, actually email me your sources, okay? Email me the sources. I'm gonna email you back another sheet, a cheat sheet that shows you all of the different APA ways to um, 
do the citation, to do citations, right? So give you a cheat sheet to help you see how to do the citation. There's a lot of good examples in the, in the page I gave you that gives you an explanation for them, but it's easier to see a bunch of them quicker. Um, so let's make sure I have, okay. What you guys wanna start doing, looking at your sources and looking at the information because you wanna start filling in your outline. Start filling in the outline, okay? By Monday, we definitely want to finish our outline, or sooner. I hope you could even start doing it by, by Monday. Because by Monday, and don't waste time. If you want to start working on your, your um, PowerPoint, you can start creating your PowerPoint, okay? Um, email me your, your sources tonight. We should at least have four. We need four. So go back in the database tonight. Look for those. If you want to email them in, to me in the morning, that's fine. But try and do it tonight. If you don't have four yet, try and get four. We should have three. Get four. Um, start studying APA in-text citation. Work on the outline. We want to keep doing your research and trying to keep finishing the um, keep finishing your um, your outline there. So let me let, let's look at let's just take a quick look at this whole thing here. How is this going to look? From your outline to a presentation. From your outline to a presentation. This is how it should look. The title page. You have a title page. Mm -hmm. right? You have the title of your class. You don't have a class though. Don't worry. Um, right? But you could put your, your title of your class. But basically, you have the title of your paper, your name, your university, your professor. And have a picture. Wait, we sure. need to make a picture. Your whole project here in this class, your whole project is a PowerPoint presentation. Mm -hmm. 40 points. Yeah, yeah. Always look at your OEC, 40 oh. points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why your outline, transfer that information into a PowerPoint slide. You have a title page. You have, remember I, my, my outline, the first thing was my problem statement, but yours will be your thesis, thesis statement. Here's my problem statement, All right? So that's how I did it. Graphics, most important, pictures. The first page, should we put the research question or research title? No more research question. Uh, you don't need a research question. You put your thesis statement. The first page. First page is a title page. First page, title page. The title of your project, the paper. Like if you are writing a paper, but the title of your project. My title, ELS, Policy Change Proposal. My name, the school I'm at, my professor. Right? And then I give a little bit of information here. You don't need to put this, that's fine. But the date is good. You should put the date. And have a picture. Always graphics for your slides. It, look at, it looks good, right? It's, it's eye-catching. Then the next slide should be your right, whatever. Now, you know, I mean, this should be your thesis statement. Because like an introduction, you're thinking like your outline. Whatever you did in your outline, the next thing, right? So in your introduction, it's your thesis your thesis statement, right? Now I can give you background about my project. I can come up here and talk to you. I don't need to write an introduction. My introduction's here. I have my thesis and I should be able to explain to you, right? Then my next body paragraph. So my next, my next line would be, right, like your topic sentence. But we're doing the six by six rule, right? Six by six rule. I only have three, I didn't go over six, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, four words, right? Phrases. These are my notes. I should look at my notes and just talk to you about my points. Talk to you about my points, right? So th we're in the West Coast Division. We're stationed here in Southern California. I'm telling you about the local context, where ELS is at. Uh, also, we teach English for academic purposes. We have a lot of international English language learners that come here from around the world and they want to study English, but not any English, it's academic English, right? That because they plan to transition on. See, like I'm talking to you point by point, 
Writing courses are all levels. So we usually start from level 100 all the way up to master's level, right? By then, most of them are adept in academic English and writing as well, right? So all I need is to look at my points and I can explain to you, right? Okay, so we can go on. Now, this is where you would take some of your source material. Don't look at this. You might have a different title. You might have a different title, like is it a body paragraph? You might put in um, your topic sentence, a phrase though, not a full sentence, a phrase, right? So, and then you can give a quote, right? So I took this, this isn't my word, this is their words, and I put their name, in-text citation, in-text citation, right? And then I gave the next title, right? A, uh, like another paragraph, the next title, of, the next topic sentence, topic sentence, right? So we'll look at this more, but I just wanted to start giving you. Now, when you start doing paraphrases, you don't need to put a picture here. I put a little graphic, but you don't have to. Look where the pictures were. The pictures were on these ones. Um, let me go back. Sorry. Literature review, local, okay, so problem statement, put it, problem. But when I start doing full quotes, no pictures. Because it's hard to fit them, right? Okay, all right, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, well, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Don't forget, keep working. Start researching now, start reading. You have your thesis statement. You should be able to start looking for the research to support your thesis statement, right? And uh, you don't need to start really writing, but taking notes. That's why I take notes and then transfer those notes into an outline and then transfer this into the PowerPoint slide. Send what? I'm going to send you my, I, I, look, I sent you my outline, right? Did you guys hear my outline? Study my outline first. Then I'll send you the PowerPoint. Yeah, study my outline, then you can start seeing how to do your outline. Okay. Yeah, that's fine.